What's up, mentorship freaks? It's Steve with the daily dose of dropping some bombs in the daily mentorship motivator. Today we're talking about attitudes. Attitude is everything. Now, there's a difference between a negative attitude and a positive attitude. So, obviously, we're talking about positive attitudes. Positive attitude is everything. I don't even want to just say attitude is everything because you can have a shitty attitude, right? So, attitude is everything. You know when it comes to sales that there's studies that, that show that 50% of the sales are made in your head first. Basically, you're losing 50% of the sales if you're not having a positive attitude. So that's just going right into a sales conversation, consultation. And it's, it's the studies show that a failure to, to, to do a deal or close a sale is 15% of improper training, either on the product or sales skills, 20% on poor verbal and written communication skills, 15% on a problematic boss or management, which is you probably, and 50 fucking percent is your attitude. Just your attitude in general about either your product, your service, the prospect, the company, whatever. Your bad bullshit day that you're dragging into, into your sales consultation, whatever you're talking about. So a great, a great attitude, a positive attitude, a motivated attitude, an enthusiastic attitude, is going to be more valuable than your product itself. It's going to sell your product more than the product itself. A good attitude will sell a shitty product more than a bad attitude will sell a good product. I guarantee you that. People want to feel good. They want to feel freaking moved and motivated. And they're moved by confident and positive people. Not just by your product or your service. That's not going to cut it. Just tell them. Otherwise, you could just put a picture of your service or product on a... A sign outside of your building and people just come and run and do it. Run and buy it. No matter what. No matter what the price. If that was the case. So if you can, now if you can combine a great positive freaking attitude with an awesome product, now you're talking about being unstoppable and a product that is better and different than anyone else. But you can combine a positive attitude with that unstoppable fucking force. A positive attitude is more important than your product itself. It's crazy. It sounds crazy, but I'm telling you, it's true. People want to be entertained. They want to feel good. They want to be freaking happy. They want hope. They want a solution. And it's hard to say no to a positive attitude for them. It, and and it's refreshing to them because they're not experiencing that shit throughout the day. They're not getting any positivity throughout the day. They're not getting a, a motivated, enthusiastic person like you throughout their day. They're getting a bunch of fucking, a bunch of stumps on a log, a bunch of duds, a bunch of losers throughout their day. So imagine when you come in with that positive, motivating, uplifting attitude, enthusiastic as hell, what it's going to do for them. They're not seeing that anywhere else in their freaking life throughout the day, and it's going to be contagious. No one buys shit really just because, only because they need it. They, they're also buying it because how it makes them feel. It makes them feel freaking good. They know they need it, but they're buying it because it makes them feel good. They're not buying certain clothes or shoes or a car just because they need it. It makes them feel good. You think they need a fucking Lamborghini or whatever? It makes them feel good. Whatever makes them feel good. Even taking action, massive fucking action, is useless without a good, positive, motivated attitude. Because you're just going to then, if you're taking action, a tons of action with just a poor attitude, you're creating chaos. You're creating a fucking mess. You're creating a tornado, a disaster. So people will pay you for your great attitude. You're getting paid for an attitude. They, they're paying you to be happy. They're paying you to be positive. You're getting paid to be positive. Even if you have a less, lesser service, even if you charge more, they're paying for the attitude, for the experience, for the motivation. Attitude is, is almost senior to all that other stuff. It's in front of all that other stuff. It's something that needs to be learned and trained and practiced, improved, evolved and worked on on a daily freaking basis. Positive attitude. You could, you could, even upgrade it and say motivation, whatever, if you want to, needs to be practiced and worked daily, every day, or else you lose it. It fades. It's going to wane away. It's going to disappear. It will wane. It will fade if you're not consciously, consciously freaking practicing this shit and working this and improving it and, and consciously doing it on a daily basis. Treat people like they have a million bucks because you know what? They might not have a million bucks, but they have enough money for your product or service. No matter what shit they tell you, no matter what story they tell you, if you make them feel the right way, they need your product and service. You have an awesome product and service and you have a, a great positive freaking attitude. They have the money. So treat them like they have the money. Treat them the way 
that you want them to act and they're going to act, you know, they're going to act the way you treat them. Basically, treat them like they have some freaking money and they're going to spend money with you. Even money they don't even freaking have. They use credit cards. They do whatever they have to do. If you're showing them with that positive attitude, that positive mindset, uplifting them with the solution to their problems. Obviously, you also do need the solution and have to have the product and service, but the positive attitude is like paramount. That's like the first thing. They should be paying you for the experience and for your freaking attitude. That's what they're, that's what they're paying you for. It, it can't, and also it can't be shopped. They can't shop around. They can shop around for a different service, right? But if your service is already better and different and better than everyone else, now imagine that. They could try to shop around on the price. But even they might find a cheaper price somewhere, but they can't shop around on you. They can't shop around on your positive attitude, the way you make them feel. They can't shop around on that stuff. They're not getting that shit anywhere else. Don't, no one else is giving them that experience. So be the one. That right there is a differentiating factor between you and your so-called fucking competition. They can't shop. They can shop around a price, but they cannot shop around on your freaking attitude. And, and, and now imagine if not just you, because you're not everywhere. You have a, a, an empire, multiple locations or People working all over the place in your different, your different locations, your security, whatever else. Imagine if everyone on your team every day always had this positive attitude. Imagine that shit. Imagine it. They, they're not, no one experienced that shit anywhere else. Imagine a security guard with a positive attitude, motivated positive attitude, uplifting you and you're just, and a security guard. They're used to them being depressed, Fat, lazy, that's just the, the stereotype. I'm just using it because obviously we have a security in this group. But this goes for anything. Or any, any, any industry. Imagine if your team had that entire positive, the entire organization, your entire organization, everyone from the cleaning people. Your cleaning people need to have a positive fucking attitude while they're mopping the floors. They need it. Who, where else are they going to find that? Where else are they going to find a smiling cleaning person? Gives them a fucking high five. How you doing gets to know them. Nowhere else in the fucking world except with you. With you and your team. And then on top of that, you having a positive attitude is going to influence other people. It's going to be infectious. And you're going to have the ability to change someone else's attitude. And that is just, that's a priceless skill when you're talking about with your team and with your your prospects are trying to sell both of those. It is just fucking priceless. If you can have the ability to change someone else's attitude. Their negative, piss poor, shitty attitude. And you can change their positive their, their attitude to a positive attitude. That shit is going to be priceless. And drill it. Drill your positivity muscles all day. Your positive attitude needs to be drilled all day. Every day. Practiced. Perfected. Evolved. Improved. Worked on. Train it. Practice it. Drill it like a fucking muscle, like everything else. Get your reps in being fucking positive all the time and fill, fill, fill your day with just positivity. Fill any situation with positivity. Control your attitude at all times. No matter what, I don't give a fuck what goes wrong. You can't freak out. You can't get negative because that's just going to be a downhill slope. You will fucking crash and burn. And guess what? Your negative, your negativity, everyone around you is going to see that. Even more. They're going to be infected by your positive attitude. But negativity spreads 10 times faster like a wildfire than even the positive attitude probably. So all your people, your prospects, your your followers, social media, your team, your family, your friends, your fucking kids. They'll see that negativity. So maintain a positive attitude all the time no matter how bad shit gets. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. People will notice that positive attitude. They'll feel it. They'll love the way it makes them feel They're around you. They'll want to be around you. They'll want to buy from you. They'll look up to you if you have that positive attitude. And protect that attitude with your life. Protect that positivity with your life from negative outside forces. Do not let them in. Don't let them penetrate your freaking shield. Either get rid of them or impact their lives to uplift them and make them more positive right along with you. Or get them out of your fucking life. Don't matter. Don't care who it is. Doesn't matter. And, be, and when it comes to all this stuff, your enemies are not even your your problem or your competition when we're talking about this. Your, your own negativity, your own attitude is your competition when it comes to closing some, some deals or it comes to leading your team. Your negative attitude is. So if you have a positive attitude, big difference, huge difference. Bigger attitude equals bigger revenue, bigger paycheck. Since sometimes, obviously, we all need to make some freaking money, right? You can, anyone can cover it up however they want. Everyone likes to make money. Let's not bullshit. All right. So 
the bigger the attitude, the better better the attitude, the more positive the attitude, guaranteed equals equivalent. Also, in proportion to a bigger paycheck, a better paycheck. How, how are you going to do that? Avoiding newspapers and radio and TV and all that other shit. Start for a week. I haven't listened to news or read a newspaper or an article. I wouldn't even know who the fucking president was if it wasn't for Facebook headlines. I won't click on those articles, but I'll see them. And if someone posts that stupid shit too much, they're deleted, blocked, unfriended, banned from my vision. I will protect. I will guard my positivity from those negative motherfuckers. I will guard myself. I will vigil- be vigilant in it. Get everyone in your life on the same page as you. Get them all on the same page. Only positive attitudes allowed. You will not allow anything else. Of course, say no to drugs. Say no to drugs, alcohol, all that shit. It's just going to be partial, part, part, adding to the downhill of it. Just That's just going to add to a negative attitude usually. So get, get started on it right away. Like Avoid that shit. Block it. So I'm going to ask you. I want you to participate in this. I'm going to tell you in the beginning of the video to make sure you watch this until this point. I'm going to ask 13... 13 statements, right? Questions, statements, whatever you want. 13. You're going to just say either yes or no to every single, to each one of them. And then tell me how many yeses you have at the end. And then I'm going to tell you what you're you're, going to, we're going to give you a score and then put your score down below in the comments. So I'm going to give you 13 questions right now. This is fucked up. Ask me if I want to tag Dave Ecker. That's my ugly ass brother. No, I don't look like that guy. Stop telling me. That's, that is creepy that Facebook can somehow see the, the genetics. Anyway, that was negative. I shouldn't say that. He's still ugly though. All right. So I'm going to give you 13 questions. You're going to say either just yes or no. Don't bullshit. Don't lie. A clear, straightforward, either yes or no. There's no in between. There's no maybes. There's none of that shit. Yes or no. And I wonder how many yeses you had at the end. All right. You ready? Let's roll. 13 questions. I watch news at least one hour per day. I read the newspaper every day. I read magazines Every week. Sometimes I have a bad day all day. My job is a drag. I get angry for an hour or more at a time. I talk to or meet with negative people. I look to blame others when something goes wrong. When something goes wrong or bad, I tell others. I get angry at my spouse or my partner or my fucking pet goat or whatever the hell you're into. I get angry at my spouse or partner and don't talk sometimes for four hours or more. I bring personal problems to work and discuss them. I expect and plan for the worst. I'm affected by the weather enough to talk about it. 13 questions. How many yeses there? Pause it, rewind it, do what you have to do to to re-listen to those questions. It's just quick, yes or no. All right, so how did you score? How many yeses? If you had zero to two yeses, you have a positive attitude. If you had three to six yeses, you have a negative attitude. If you had seven to 10, or even more than 10, because that's 13, seven to 10, you have a problematic attitude and you need to like do something about that shit right fucking now. And the beauty of this test is it's so simple. It's so clear cut. All you gotta do is now turn that yes into a no, bam. And you just immediately improve your attitude. It's so fucking easy. I love it. I forget where I got this test from a long time ago. Some kind of sales program or something. I don't even remember. Got this test from somewhere. So remember, when something goes wrong, it's no one's fault but you, but your own. No matter what. We know that. Take fucking ownership for, for everything. Don't go around blaming other people. You have always had a choice. And you still always have a choice in everything. So... Stop making excuses and using that automatic mechanism when something comes up, something goes wrong, something's done incorrectly and automatically you think, oh, but when did they send me the message? I don't remember that message and you don't even know what the fucking they're talking about yet. Or automatically a defense mechanism of making excuses of, I never got that message. I never heard about that. No one ever told me about that. Why did they do that? That's not what I said. No, I didn't tell them that. That, That's not true. Automatic. You You don't even know the details yet and you're already given an answer. That's bullshit. Stop making fucking excuses. That leads to negativity. So ignore your news and social media stories and all that stuff. Read and listen only to positive freaking books. Non-stop. Just put that in your fucking brain. And when something you face is an obstacle or goes wrong, don't look for who to blame or what excuses to make. And when, and when you feel that automatic excuse coming out, cut that shit short. Instead, look for and create And exploit what opportunity can you come up with out of this? What can you come up with out of this, out of this 
problem or situation or failure or whatever. Study and learn and practice positive books, positive people, positive courses, non-stop. This is like all day, every day. Train it. You need to train it. Ignore the negative people. Stay away from those motherfuckers. No matter what, no matter who they are, because they would tell you, you can't do that. That's never going to work. You're crazy for thinking that. You need to do this and this and this because that's just the way it's been done. Fuck that. They'll try to discourage you. They're going to tell you you can't do what you're about to do. Screw that. Check your language. Take out things like why and can't and won't and but and all this other stuff that you use to help say something. Oh, but this. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Because all this or won't or can't or asking or, or, or why in those situations. Talk about why you like things, not why you don't like things like people or your job or your family. Don't just talk about the negative shit. Talk about the positive. Talk about what you like. Talk about the victories. This is why we start with five victories every morning. Talk about the victories. And how also can you improve your positivity? Just by helping someone without any expectation for something coming back. Without keeping the score like, oh, now you owe me one. That's not a, that's not a positive person. That's not a helpful person. That's not someone bringing value to anyone. That's someone that's just a, a, a shady motherfucker, really. And also, we do it also. That's also why we do these daily daily debriefs. Write down what you're grateful for every single day. People, places, things. It could be technology, a person, someone that held a door open for you. It could be anything like attitudes of people, people specifically, situations. Write down every day what you're freaking grateful for. And that's why we do it. Then take a step back. Look and, and be proud of who the fuck you are. Not for too long because we're hungry, savage motherfuckers. We, we need to keep going. We need to go on to the next thing. Check that shit off your list. Acknowledge it. Yeah, I'm fucking awesome. All right, on to the next thing. But step back for that split second. Be proud of who the hell, what you've accomplished and where you are and how far you've come and what you've accomplished already so far in your life. Be proud of it. Step back. Look at it. You're right. I'm fucking awesome. And use that momentum. Build momentum. Now, okay. Done with that. Check it off your list. I don't care how big it is. Check it off. Now move on to the next thing. That's how we roll. We're fucking savages. We are savages and that's how we roll. So positivity, nonstop, acknowledge it, move on and conquer the next thing with positivity because attitude is everything. Positive attitude is everything. It leads the way. It's going to lead to a bigger bank account. Guaranteed. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.